Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know you just saw me cut down the full year. Hope and Yuchi, this is the Avec. So one might ask, Monique, why would you cut down a full year when you already have an Avec? One, number one, because I want to. <laughs> number two, because I see the Avec going into my TN, like a traveler's notebook and the strings when I want like several books in one. And then the full year I see to handle everything. So when I want to put it in a folio. So my VEC I cut down last year, the year before last, and I made a B6 out of one half and then a standard out of the other half. I know I have a video on that and um, I was originally inspired by Xylene plants, XY plants. And in that video, it shows it. So I used it as an undated planner for um, all of that time, all of like pretty much 2021, whenever I wanted to in spurts. So I use it as memory keeping. I use it as like a stickerage for the week. And then my dailies, I just do whatever I want on it. It provides a really nice creative outlet for me and it's I'm good to go. So um, this is the Avec. I will still continue to use this when I want. Um, I just wanted to get a full year. So what I did is I went locally to the craft place in Houston, Texas. They are my one-stop shop locally. And so I went there and was able to get a uh, spring cousin. And yesterday I cut it down. Now I have it in a, I'm not done with it yet, but I just thought I would show you. I have it in a Lauren Phelps design cover. I get a lot of questions on these. These were both gifted to me by a good friend, but she bought them at Lauren Phelps designs. Um, this is my main planner. This is, this is completely fun. Um, so yeah, uh, a lot of people ask, you know, you get a clean cut. Absolutely not. I do not. And I am fine with the cut that I get, I'm not worried about it. Um, I've been cutting down, this one's probably a way big, big, uh, cleaner cut than this one was, but this is a smaller book. Um, even with my Stologies, uh, they're not completely cut, you know, wonderfully. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I use, first of all, my name is Monique, hi. I do all kinds of stuff and I film daily. Um, but I use a metal ruler, and a box cutter so I just put a piece of alum right here and then with it cut it being cut down to a standard size you lose Sunday but you can go ahead and do the Sunday that way and then do a Sunday that way for the week and that works completely fine for me I am going to put down my holidays page right here which looks like I don't know if I have it in here I doubt it um, it's just like my holiday page. I'm going to size it up and then glue it here and then uh, glue something else right there. I glue Stology paper in the little yearly ones that I do not use and that's I can use it for more long-term lists. Here's the month, then here's the week. Um, I have the day. Again, this is a spring cousin, so April goals. And then yesterday, I just kind of journaled and did like a daily page. My thing is, now that I have the full year, I can go to 2023, right? And use this for like commonplace. And that's what I'm excited about. Um, I put a ruler here all the time. I've got Frida and, um, you know, a pen, pen test page if I want. And then like I could just go to town on dailies, on... Like if I still want to write, I always use it as an undated capacity. I don't, I don't really care about the dates, even if I'm stuck on the week over here and it is a dated planner. So this is 2022. So, um, this is last week I was working on just putting some stuff there. I will continue to do that this week. I mean, in a few, just because I like it to have all of the data and it comes from here. And so, um, yeah, it is dated, but if I fall behind or if I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not using it next week, I have no problem whiting out these dates and, you know, just using it like that. So the way you cut this down, 
um, let me see if I could do it here. You want to make sure it says Hobo Tech. I don't know if I can pull it. I tried to do it on my, my actual video. Yeah. So Hobo Tech. You want to not get the O from the tech, you know, the, so what do you know? It says tech, te techo, but you don't want to get the O because that means you're going to bring on Sunday here. So as you see, I got it, tried to get it as close as I could, but, um, yeah, you'll get that piece, which I mean, obviously it's not fine, but it does bother me. Like if I saw the red right there, I am, um, I'll, I kind of get my scissors and cut that off because it bothers me. So that is kind of what's going on with the full year versus the um, the Avec. I have two more Avecs. I went to Drumgold, Tex uh, Drumgold Texas, <laughs> Drumgold's in Houston, Texas, where I get my fountain pen and my inks from. And they were going to throw out, it was right before the new Hobonichi Cousins. I mean, the whole Hobonichi line was coming out for 2022. And they were going to throw out the the cousins the effect and i was like oh my gosh can, you know don't throw it out can i have it he's like sure and so i have here once i get finished the b6 and this however long that takes luna oh my god oh my gosh i swear i'm gonna i'm just oh my gosh um i will go ahead and uh use those but i didn't have a full year so, yeah, it was pricey. I mean, this was 60 bucks, but, you know, I, I, I'm, I can get it. I have a budget for my planner stuff. And um, so, yeah, I was able to get that. And I like that I could put this in one of my folios. I have about a th three or four of them. But for right now, I actually like it in the cover. And um, it has a lot of paper, so you could just use it for whatever you want in the back with the notes. And that was one of the big reasons why I wanted it. I wanted just more note paper and to cut a full year down because, again, <laughs> I wanted to. So uh, if you're on the fence of cutting up your A5 Hobonichi Cousin, you shouldn't. You should get off the fence and totally do it. Go to Staples, have it cut if you don't want to do it yourself. If you want to do it yourself, go ahead and get your box cutter and your stuff. And, you know, I couldn't use this as my main planner system. I know that there are a few now using it as their main planner system. I think it's great that you can do that. Um, I write entirely way too much. Like, I need my all my other stuff, like my soap study, my memory page, my gratitude. I need my, you know, my weeklies, my dailies, my prayers, my journaling. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I need it all. Um... But this is a great planner for all in one. If you're able, this is just like memory keeping for me. So I go through the whole day and I just kind of able to put down stickers. I'm able to just like, oh my gosh, y'all. It's, it's, it's the funnest thing on Face of Planet, I swear to you. Um, the main pen that I use in my notebooks is the Uniball Jetstream 1.0. RT. I've um, been using it now for almost three years. My friend Sharon Joy to Plan showed me about it. Show, uh, you know, brought it to my attention that it writes good on the Hobonichi paper and uh, or Tomo River paper. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to come and talk through because I wasn't able to do that yesterday. I just kind of showed you me cutting down the um, full year. So that was my reasoning for it. So if you have any questions, let me know. As usual, happy Friday and God bless you.